New sense this morning though. Eye on the tropics. We've got something to talk about out in the Atlantic and it's this tropical depression three formed uh, at about 11 a.m. Winds at 35 miles an hour pressure at about 1009 millibars moving to the west at about 21 miles an hour. So let's check out the cone on this now because a pretty substantial development is that the National Hurricane Center is expecting this to become a category one hurricane as it makes its way into the lesser Antilles by Friday morning. Of course, that takes it into the Caribbean, brings it into the vicinity of Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic. Republic. Beyond that, it's a little uncertain as to where this is going to go. But the uncertainty isn't anything we are uh, not used to in the tropics, right? Take a look at the spaghetti models over the course of the next several days. The big question is where does it turn? if it even turns. So the models have not really locked on to a scenario where it turns to the north or where it turns into, let's say, the Bahamas, or if it just keeps going straight into the Caribbean. That's something we're going to be watching trends for here in the coming days. Of course, that will have implications on the forecast for the United States. Does it come near the United States or does it not? That's what we're going to be watching for here in the days ahead. So Tropical Depression 3 expected to become a hurricane. Next name is Brett in the next few days. There is uncertainty in how much of a northward turn it makes, if it even makes one at all, but the confidence on the forecast will be increasing on this. By the time we get into late week, Caitlin, never a dull moment over here in the Weather Center, as certainly this month, June 2023. <laughs> All right, thank you, Alex. Yeah, definitely not something we typically expect uh, this time of year. No, not at all. <laughs>